Phone lines are open from coast to coast. I'm sure you have at least one question about something digital. Toll free one 825 5254 is the way to join us. Uh, John in Jacksonville, Florida. Hi there, John. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic. What's on your mind? I had a question about uh, aligning your home with the smart technology. I've seen commercials and I was wondering about it. Isn't it kind of dangerous? What if someone hacks into your smartphone or something? Well, you know, and that's a big problem right now because if you have your smart televisions, right, smart refrigerators, smart washer and dryers, smart lighting, smart security, okay, uh, what else did I miss? Your smart pool system and everything's all connected on the Internet. What kind of controls are actually being put in place? And right now the answer is not so much. Samsung now has a new line of smart TVs that's going to have built-in three-layer security. Because the whole idea is that somebody could put a malicious app on your television and then have access to your credit cards, right? Is that a concern of yours? Well, I was just wondering, people hack into phones and into computers, and if you got lined up to that, could they take over your whole house? I mean, doesn't it just didn't seem safe, and I was wondering if they had technology to make it safer if it's still a risk or it's one of these proverbial elephants in the room it's because as i mentioned everything's going smart right and a lot of folks are now saying if they are all connected to the internet what exposure do i have if somebody gets on my home network could they make the washer and dryer go could they uh, hack into my television? Could my television, because it's it's on the internet, be able to have a backdoor to my tablet or my computer or my phone? And the answer, unfortunately, is yes, that we're just now starting to see some security, I guess you'd say controls get into place, and they are now making gadgets that can secure entire networks. But for right now, a lot of us are vulnerable. So my recommendation is, is that if you have all these smart controls and smart appliances, you know, make sure that you do have your network as locked down as possible. Uh, if you're going to maybe use MAC addressing and, you know, make sure that you do have a secure password, you've changed the default. And if you have cameras on your gadgets and that concerns you, on um, the bottom line there is you have to go a little low tech. Some people are just putting band-aids over the cameras to make sure that nobody can sneak in. But I would fully expect to see more problems with these Internet of Things connected gadgets as the next couple of months in 2016 rolls out. So um, you have a valid concern, John. It's not that you're being paranoid. I th just think that you're a little forward thinking. And thank you so much for your call.